Hello, Sagittarius. This is your February 2021. So, Sagittarius, as I shuffle these cards for you, we're about to see what's coming up. We're going to see what February is holding for you. For a lot of you, you've been going back and forth in a situation. For a lot of you, you're undetermined on what to do next. You're not sure whether to wait for somebody or to let someone go. For a lot of you, we are definitely dealing with the, the Wheel of Fortune here. For the first card that comes up for you guys is definitely, in fact, the Wheel of Fortune. With the Wheel of Fortune, there's going to be opportunities here. There's also going to be balance. There's going to be a condition that makes you... Let me put this card out here for you to see it. There's going to be a position for you to have something come around, meet you around halfway, come towards you, bless you, bring enlightenment, bring love and courage. It's also saying that you're protected by four different angels. There is a choice of direction here, north, south, east, or west, deciding what to do next. Look at that, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, with your Wheel of Fortune came the Lover's Card. So you have not only a Wheel of Fortune, meaning that you're going to have a choice or decision to make about a partner, whether you're going to decide to be with a past partner or someone new. A lot of you are wondering if something's going to work out where this past partner is concerned. And I do feel like the next card coming up for that is the Page of Wands, which tells me there is new growth. There is new opportunity here. You know, somebody may have thought at one point that they had their cake and eat it too. Somebody may have definitely taken a different route. They may have left. They may have gone off in a different direction. They may have parted from you. They may have made you feel abandoned or you may have made them feel abandoned. Maybe you left. But the situation definitely unfolded because of the fact that maybe somebody new stepped in or somebody new tried to come in. Or maybe there was a third party situation for some of you, Sagittarius, that you had to deal with. Now we're at the point where with the lover's card, somebody is wanting to make up. Somebody is wanting to come back together. Somebody is wanting to work on something feeling maybe it is worth it. Maybe I left too soon. Maybe I gave up too easy. Which is where we do have the truth come in that either this is going to be with a new partner having new growth, a new opportunity, seeing hope, having faith in a situation. Or this is about, if it's not a new person, this is about going back to your past partner. It's also talking about you have tried on a couple different occasions to make something work. You finally have gotten to the point where now you're able to build a better foundation. Previously, your foundation may have been on sand. Previously, your foundation may have been destroyed or knocked down. But now there is some kind of hope. There's rejuvenation here. There's something that's moving much better, closer. And when I talk about movement, we get the Eight of Wands. Coincidence? No. It is a fact that something is going to come in very fast. There's fast energy. There's going to be fast communication in the month of February. I also feel like with the red around here, it's about love because of the fact that nothing is going to be very smooth. It may be a little edgy. Something may have started and stopped, started and stopped in your relationship. But I definitely feel like there has been breaks in between. You may have spent a few months together and then broke up and then a couple months together and broke up or a couple weeks together, broke up, whichever. For some of you, you're traveling back and forth or there's short travel here. Some of you may take a break, a retreat, go on a vacation, short trip, or you may travel to see this person. Somebody also may be coming past your home. They may be driving past back and forth a couple times, a couple times a week, a couple times a month, a couple times a day. But somebody may even go past your home on their way to work and on their way home from work. They may pass you back and forth. The next card that comes up is, oh my God, you guys, is the Two of Cups. So somebody is definitely wanting to come towards you in the month of February and make an offer to you. I think you guys had the best reading so far out of everybody. So for February, Sagis, somebody's making an offer. Somebody is definitely caring enough to say, hey, maybe we couldn't get together before. Maybe it didn't work out before. Maybe we could try again. Maybe I would like to build 
this relationship. We've never really had this conversation. We've never really talked this way. We've never talked about it being a permanent thing. We've always just enjoyed each company, each other's company here and there, doing this or that. How come we never talked about getting back together? How come we never talked about trying to make it work again? Is there a possibility for marriage here? I say yes. Is there a possibility of getting remarried? I say yes. A lot of things will change. Some of your family members won't like it. Some of your family members won't care. Some of your family members will be glad that you're happy. For some of you, somebody may be bringing you flowers before you know it. Somebody may offer you something. Somebody may think you're not feeling so well. Somebody may bring you something to try to cheer you up. The person that we're dealing with here is a person who is definitely either putting in a lot of time, working on their money, spending money, or they work to spend money, or why they're working, they spend money, whatever that means. So however they make their money, they're spending money to make their money, whoever that is. But I also feel like this person has money put away. They're not poor by any means. They have a savings. I feel like it's going to come down to you guys needing to make a choice or decision. Yeah, there's stuff in the past that really upset you. There's stuff in the past that didn't go right. There's stuff in the past that you can't even still answer today. There's stuff in the past that's making you wonder what's going on. But I feel like you're going to have a choice or decision to make here. Some of you may feel like you're walking into something blindfolded. Somebody might feel like, wow, is this possible? Maybe you're dealing with a water sign. Maybe you're dealing with an air sign. A, an Aries, Leo, I mean, a, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now that I said Aries or Leo, maybe you're dealing with them. I, I'm not sure. Next card that comes up for you is the world card. There is changes coming. There's also an end of a cycle. So if it was an abusive cycle, there's an end to it. If there's no communication, then there's an end to that. If there was communication and things were going the way they should and it just stopped, maybe there's an ending to something right now. There's a pause here. Somebody's taking a break for sure. But that's okay. Somebody's going to communicate to you and they're going to tell you something. Or you're going to talk to somebody about your money, about your finances. You're going to tell this person that maybe you need money. You need help with finances. You need something that you lost something. I feel like with the yellow in the background, it's a very strong possibility this person will give you the money. Somebody will lend you the money or hand you the money or share money with you. There's also growth and opportunity here for another event. Another offer opportunity is coming from this person, maybe too. This is a person who hangs around a lot. This is a person who's not always up your ass or not always in your face, but they are always there, either in the background or that means they're reachable. You can always communicate or contact this person on a regular basis. So this is telling me this is somebody who, again, doesn't smother you, but they're there if you need them. One phone call and they're there. This is a person who will come very quickly. As you sit as the king of wands, and yes, you do, male or female, you're sitting as the king of wands. You're looking, you're waiting to see if there's going to be any more information, if there's going to be communication, if somebody's going to call, if somebody's going to write, if somebody's going to stop by. But you're holding on to this thought. Part of you wants this communication. Part of you wants this interaction. Part of you want to be intimate with this person. Part of you wants to keep a distance, which is why the length of this. Some of you want to keep a distance. Some of you say, you know what? I'm not sure. I'll just wait. I'm just going to be patient. Okay, your choice. For some of you, you're looking for justice to come out of a situation. For some of you, you're hoping somebody does the right thing. You're hoping somebody makes the right choice or decision. For some of you, you are the one who is making justice, maybe in a family situation, maybe to do with children, maybe to do with grandchildren, maybe to do with brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers. You want the truth to come out. You're waiting patiently to see what comes next. For a lot of you, you might be dealing with some arguments some drama, some issues through family members, through jealousy, through inconsistencies, through favoritism, through financial hardships, through um, struggles. 
You may be dealing with other people's arguments. Some of you may have friends that all they do is complain and talk and complain and talk. And they're all very unappreciative. They're not being grateful for what they do have. So it is your job. You're being asked by a holy ruler. You're being asked by your spirit guide to tell these people that they have blessings. They need to look at the positive side of things instead of the negative. They need to be jolted. They need to be reminded. Yes, things may be going on. Things may be challenging. Things may be scary. Things may be fearful. But you woke up today. You still have your health. You have food in your fridge. You have gas in your car. You have love in your heart. And you have people in your life that love you, including friends, including family. So stop focusing on the negative. Tell your friend or tell your friends, whoever this is, or your family members or your partner, if you start appreciating what you do have, God will send you more of it. If you continue to focus on what you don't have, what you're missing, what you're lacking, God will send you more of that. Watch it. For some of you, Sages, you could be dealing with a broken heart still from the past. But I do feel like you are on the mend now of recovering. There is also going to be a celebration that comes up for you. There's going to be a group of family, friends, an invitation, an offer, something coming of a gathering. It's coming up within the next three months. Take it. Don't stay home. For some of you, you're very guarded. You don't know whether to give in to somebody. You don't know whether to keep a distance. You don't know whether you're going to keep this person at a distance or if you're going to allow them to come in. You don't know if you're going to put up a panel, a bar, a boundary. You're not sure. But I do think that you are going to allow somebody to see you, to visit you, to communicate back and forth to you. The jury's still out on whether or not you're going to let them become intimate with you. You have a choice or decision to make here. For some of you, you'll make this decision based on the past, based on something that's previously happened, based on something you can't change. Some of you just don't know how to let go of the past and move on with the future. For those of you who are going to remain stuck, you're going to feel that way, and it's not going to be good. For those of you who do know how to let something go, take your wins, take your losses, and move forward, you'll be in good shape. Some of you are still considering other options that you may have. Some of you are just focused on work and moving forward, determination. For some of you, you may still feel like somebody's hiding something from you. You may be feel like you're in between. You can't make a choice or decision. For some of you, you're going to handle something in a very mm, organized kind of way. You're going to handle something in a very mature way. Or some of you are going to handle something like an asshole. Some of you are going to blurt out, splurt out, argue, yell, scream, kick, fight, whatever. And make all this drama scene, which is not going to end well. It's going to create a lot of tears. It's going to create a lot of heartbreak. And it's going to make something so that it can't be fixed. So reconsider before you act like this wolf, like an animal out of control. Reconsider taking your time, expressing yourself in a different way, having control. Again, last card for you guys for the month of February is somebody's coming in with an offer. It is a pure offer. They're pretty sure and confident of what they want to do. They know what their goals are. They're willing to climb mountains to get to you. They're willing to do what it takes this person is also, and I have to bring this, is the Four of Pentacles. This person is also very comfortable financially. Yes, they hold on to their money, but they are willing to share. This person has their own home. This person is either retired or getting ready to retire. This person also may be getting ready to change jobs. If they're not old enough to retire, this person is getting ready to change jobs. But this is going to all create balance for many of you. For many of you, okay, on the bottom of the deck, comes the Ten of Wands. So on the bottom of the deck, for a lot of you, holding on to something is getting harder and harder. For a lot of you, letting go of something is getting harder and harder. But for a lot of you, you're finding that you have more strength than you thought. You're still here in the same position, wanting something to change. You're wanting other options or opportunities here. For some of you, you're getting to the point of breaking. The breaking point is either breaking to give in to the situation and tell somebody how you feel and let them know you want a relationship or this is the point of you breaking where you know what, you're going to let it all fall down and walk away and say, I'm done. 
So whichever way seems to fit you, that's what's coming for the month of February. Stay tuned. Let's see what's going to come up next for you guys. But there is definitely going to be offers, opportunities, challenges, some disappointment, but most of all, growth, potential, financial gain, and blessings are on the way. <laughs>